Welcome to Royal News Updates. Shocking. Harry goes ballistic with fury and exposes all of Meg's secrets as he calls her a demon. Before we start, please, like this video, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon, thanks. Are Harry and Meghan splitting up? An expert on the British royal family says they will eventually. According to a royal correspondent, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are likely to be spearheading their own life and leaving separately as of now. With Archie and Lilibet's good future, it is understandable that the couple wants to hold their own position. Harry and Meghan's royal exit might be a biggest setback for couples life especially Prince Harry as there is no more room left to heal their relationship with royal family. Prince Harry's relationship with the royal family has come back into focus since he decided not to come home for Prince Philip's memorial service last week. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down from their roles as working royals two years ago. They later sat down with Oprah Winfrey for a tell-all interview during which Meghan and Harry made serious allegations against the royal family. More than two years after the bombshell interview, royal commentator Kinsey Schofield believes that Meghan and Harry have no room to heal their relationship with the royal family. She told Express.co.uk, I don't think that there's any room to heal at this point because there's so much pushback from the Sussexes. I just feel like there's so much animosity right now that they're considered outsiders. The founder and creator of Tadifadaily.com admitted that she hopes Meghan and Harry could one day be welcomed back into the fold in some capacity. Ms. Schofield said, We don't have much time left with the Queen and I wish that he, Harry, would heal the broken wounds that are happening right now so that we can look in the future and one day hopefully see Harry and Meghan within the fold maybe not working royals, but invited for holidays, invited for Christmas. Harry was the only senior member of the royal family not in attendance at the Duke of Edinburgh's service of thanksgiving. The Duke's absence was confirmed last month in a statement from his spokesperson, who also said that Harry wished to see his grandmother as soon as possible. It comes as the prince continues in his legal battle with the Home Office over police protection while he is in the UK. In January, Harry's legal spokesperson explained in part that with the lack of police protection comes too great a personal risk. They added, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex personally fund a private security team for their family, yet that security cannot replicate the necessary police protection needed whilst in the UK. In the absence of such protection, Prince Harry and his family are unable to return to his home. However, Ms. Schofield believes that the security row is not behind Harry's decision to stay in the US. Instead, she claimed that the Duke is trying to make a statement by not joining his family for the service. She said, so that is an event, the memorial, where he would have that security that he's asking for so it feels like this is just him trying to make a statement. We know that when he came back for the funeral that he was given the security that he says he needs constantly, he's given that security when it's a state event, when there is a heightened event that the entire family is going to be involved in. It feels like this is just him trying to make a statement and saying if you don't give me my way, I'm going to do this. Another royal expert believes that Harry may live to regret his decision to stay in California. Russell Myers, the Daily Mirror's royal editor, told ITV's Lorraine last week, I think he will live to regret that decision because a lot of the family were rallying around the Queen. You look at the pictures and images yesterday, she looked absolutely grief-stricken. Harry did return for Philip's funeral in April last year. He briefly visited a few months later for the unveiling of the Diana, Princess of Wales memorial statue, but the prince has not visited the UK since. Meghan and Harry now reside in Montecito, California with their two children, Archie Harrison and Lilibet Diana. Their daughter, who was born in June, is yet to meet most of her father's side of the family. 
The Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations provide an opportunity for the Sussexes to return to the UK. Events will take place during an extended bank holiday weekend from June the 2nd to the 5th. It is expected that the royal family will come together to mark the monarch's monumental milestone. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe to Thanks. our channel.